What's happening all my service contractors? It's your boy John Erickson and if you are in the service business, I'm here to drop some major knowledge for you today. So I'm sitting in the drive through right now at one of my uh, favorite coffee shops, obviously Starbucks. I go to Starbucks every single morning. But the reason why I'm sending you this message is because this Starbucks right here in particular was the Starbucks that I service. So you see these windows? I used to clean these windows. And then this drive through here, okay, you see the drive through I'll show you kind of a full bird eye. I used to clean all this stuff. Every single piece with this sign, this, the driveway. And I used to do it for $75, okay? 75 bucks, man. And the biggest problem with it is I used to do it for, uh, from 12 o'clock at night to two o'clock in the morning. And now I'm able to do large commercial contracts for about $2,900 a day minimum. The reason why I'm bringing you this message is because when I was doing small properties like this, I mean, this is considered a storefront property. So if you're in a window cleaner or you're a pressure washer or you're somebody that's in the service business, I'm sure you have accounts like this uh, where it's like 20 bucks a window. So, you know, $75 to you might even seem like a lot. But for me, it was, it was tough to be able to come out here at 12 o'clock at night, you know, when they wanted me to. And now that I'm able to work on these large buildings, companies like Marriott, Hilton, uh, Big, big, big major brands, Holiday Inns, you know, big major construction developers. I mean, in my business, I didn't even start it that long ago. I mean, I started this thing maybe two years, 10 months ago. Um, overnight, my business was able to go from like 2,700 bucks a month to over $40,000 a month in revenue. And that was my first year getting into large commercial contracts. One little change made the change. So if you're still struggling out there, I completely understand. I completely get it. Just keep showing up. If you're a window cleaner, you're a pressure washer, you're a landscaper, a painter, it's gonna pay off, man. You just gotta keep showing up. You gotta keep going after what it is that you want, okay? Let me order this coffee real quick. What do you want, babe? Green tea latte. Green tea latte. Can I get a green tea, iced green tea latte sweetened? The big thing is, is just remember where you came from because it might not look the same 12 months from now if you make some changes, okay? Insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. Don't expect to get anything different in your life if you keep doing the same thing over and over. And if you keep going to storefronts, collecting okay, 20 I'm bucks so here, sorry, 50 bucks more here, more you're, you're, thank you, sir. You're, you're gonna be able to take okay, your business sorry, and dominate yeah, to the next level. So sorry about that, just ordering coffee. We're in real time right now. Um, but I pulled out the camera because this is a this is a, a monumental situation here. I remember being here at night, pressure washing this dang driveway, knowing I was gonna collect a, a credit card payment at the end of it for $75. And it was it was it sucked. It sucked is really all it came down to. But you know what? It paid the bills, it paid the bills, and it gave me an opportunity to do the business that I'm doing now which is the same business, it's the same thing, that's the funny part. So the biggest switch that I made was doing small projects and now I'm doing large projects. And what happens is in our minds, when we're doing small projects like this, okay, we're thinking that these little driveways are the littlest, the only things that we can do. It's the only things we can get our hands on. But what we don't realize is that bigger contracts, we can do them. We might not have equipment, we may not have employees, but we have ourselves we have resourcefulness, we can make it happen. And when I got into large commercial contracts, I had no money and I had no equipment. I had no employees. What did I have, babe? I, I had nothing, did I? I had no money, I had no employees. I mean, really, I, I all I had was an idea. I came to you one day and said, you know what, why don't we just do bigger buildings? Why are we doing small buildings, right? Keep showing up, I promise you, it's all gonna work out. And if it's not working out right now and you're still doing Subways, you're still doing Starbucks, you're doing McDonald's, you're doing the local neighborhood, that's cool, man. I understand. You got to get your money right somehow. You got to pay the bills somehow. But we get into business so we can actually scale, so we can take our business and our dreams and our significance to the next level. You know, we, we want to be something. We started a business to be something and to be someone. We didn't start our business. Oh, thank you so much. Appreciate it. We start our business 
so we can so we can do something great on this planet. Thank you. Not so we can just be slaves to our business and we can be prisoners to the business. I want you to 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 flourish. I want you to build the business that you always wanted. I want you to have employees. I want you to scale. I want you to have abundance, prosperity, all of those things you thought about when you got into business. And I know right now it doesn't seem possible. I know right now it seems it seems a little far-fetched. It, it seems like everything is just going a million miles an hour and you don't know when you're gonna actually catch a break. But you know what I did? Is I just kept showing up and I kept educating myself. I, I kept trying to understand what is it that the wealthy people were doing? Like, why were they winning? You know, how come, how come they were able to scale their businesses and they were able to take their businesses to the next level? Was it my vehicle? Was my vehicle the wrong vehicle? I used to ask myself that every day. You know, I'd be out there cleaning solar panels and, and cleaning windows for residential houses and doing these $75 uh, Starbucks from midnight to two in the morning, you know, thinking to myself like, man, it's probably because I'm in the service business. It's probably, probably there's just no money in the service business. When really that couldn't be furthest from the truth. There's so much money in the service business. You know, there's always somebody out there that's gonna need your service. It's a practical business. And until robots take over the pressure washer and your, your window cleaning hand, you got a job, man, and you got you got yourself a nice little business, right? So my plea to you is to continue to show up no matter what. Don't give up on your dreams. Your business is just this close away. You might have to make a few zigs and a few zags like I did so you can adjust in your business. Uh, if you're sick and tired of what you're dealing with right now, if you're sick and tired of you know, door knocking and EDDM marketing and, you know, house pro and home advisor and you're, you're sick of all that crap and all you want to be able to do is wake up in the morning and get some large commercial contracts with a telephone and an email, hit me up, shoot me a message, okay? I want to help you. I want to work with you. I want to take your business to the next level. We can schedule a call that's going to be a free 30-minute consultation on how you can change your life. And I'm going to put the link in the description. But for now, if, 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 if you're not interested, that's fine. I don't care. Just keep watching my content. Subscribe. Smash the subscribe button to my YouTube channel. I'm going to show you all the tricks, all the little details, the what I'm doing out there in the field because I want to give back to you guys. I want to help you. So stay up. Keep showing up. Keep doing what's necessary. And I promise it's all going to come in completion. You got this. Later.